Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that we need to find out how many symmetric matrices. So we have to find out number of symmetric matrices that I can form of the order 3 cross 3 with all the entries from the set and the set consists of the numbers from 0 to 9. So we have basically 10 numbers with us and we need to find out how many symmetric matrices I can form whose order is 3 cross 3. So basically there should be 3 rows and 3 columns and the answer choices that are given to us for the number of symmetric matrices are 10 raised to 9 9 raised to 10, the second, third option given to us is 10 raised to 6 and the last option given to us is 6 raised to 10. So let's figure out what will be the correct answer for the number of symmetric matrices that we have to find out. So if I talk about first of all the definition of symmetric matrices, uh, a symmetric matrix is basically a square matrix which has same number of rows and same number of columns. In this case, it is 3 cross 3. So you have three rows and three columns and it is equal to its transpose means A and A transpose is equal to each other. Means if a matrix has to be symmetric, the element at row I and column J must be equal to element at row J and column I. So if I write it in the sequence, I can write that as A I J should be equals to A J I. So it should look something like this if I show it to you. A, B, C. So if B is basically A first row and second column. So A12. So it should be equal to A21, which is second row and first column. So here you should have B. Here if I see this element is A13, first row and third column. So when it is there, I know A31 should, should be same as that. So this should become C. Similarly, if I write this, let's say D and this is E. Then E again, if you see it is second row and third column. So the opposite of that, it is A32. It will also become E. And the last element is F. So this is basically our symmetric matrix. Now, once I know symmetric matrix, what I know here is that there are only six unique elements, six different elements. If I see here A, B, C, D, E and F. So to make a symmetric matrix out of the nine elements of three cross three, I need to just select a six of them because the other three are repetitive as B, C and D, right? So we need to select only six unique elements to fill the symmetry like A in the one, one position, then B in the A, one, two and two, one positions because it is the same element. D e in A13 and A31, D in A22 position, E is same A23 and A32 and F in A33 position. So let's fill this and make a symmetric matrix. Let's see how many symmetric matrices I can form. I already know my set of the elements to choose from consists of all the elements from 0 to 9. So if I draw that. 10 elements. I have this 10 elements with me and I have already known that I have to select just this 6 of the matrices because the other 3 elements will be same as B, C and D. E. So out of 9 I just need to select 6 and for each element to be selected I have how many options of selection? 10 options. So for A, B, C, D, E and F. I need to select 6 of the elements. For a element in this position, I have an option of selecting one out of 10 elements. For B, again, I have one out of 10 element selection. For C, again, I need to select one out of 10. For D, again, one out of 10. For E, again, one out of 10. And for F, also one out of 10. So, in total, if I see how many symmetric matrices I can form, so it is basically 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. So, it is 10. 6 times multiplied, so I get 6 zeros and I can write that as 10 raised to 6. 
So you get the answer as total number of symmetric matrices of order 3 with the entries from this set is 10 raised to 6. And if I see the answer choice that matches with the question here, the answer is option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So this was a pretty easy question. We just needed to figure out that how many unique elements are needed to find a symmetric matrix. Once we got that six elements are needed to selection, we just selected for each unique element out of 10 points we need to select one. So we have 10 options for each six unique elements to form a symmetric matrix. And with that, I get the answer as 10 raised to 6, which matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question on matrices. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th as well as JW. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on GW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on every day basis. Thank you.